One of the things I always wondered about platforms like LinkedIn and other social media platforms was how could I format text on those platforms, on my, on my profile, on my posts, on my comments. There just isn't a way of doing it natively. So when I talk about formatting, I mean using bold text, italicizing text, underlining, and as well as that, using things like emojis and special characters. They're just not built into the native keyboard. So if I take my LinkedIn profile as an example, when you fire up the editor, there's just no native functions. I can't change anything to bold. As you can see, I'm a fan of emojis, but I've got no way of pulling emojis in there. So platforms like LinkedIn restrict you to a small subset of the character set, basically what you can see on your keyboard, which is the original 128 1960s ASCII 2 standard, whereas as of today, in the Unicode text standard, there are over 140,000 characters you can use, including emojis. So how do you get access to those? Well, the answer is on platforms like LinkedIn at the moment, you can't do it. There is some limited support on mobile devices for some of the emojis, but there's no way of getting to the whole Unicode text standard that's going to let me change some of this text into bold or drop my emojis in. There's no way to do it. So I had a look around. There was a few free tools. I could get emojis from here and there, but it's all a bit long-winded. I have to go to another website, search for an emoji, copy, paste it, click. It takes a long time. And the same with if I wanted to bold some text, there are a few free tools. Let me do little chunks of text at the same time. But there's no way of me getting to my whole profile here or a whole post and being able to format it nicely in an editor which is the way I want to do it because I want to do it quickly and easily. So what we did was we built TextEd Formatter. Let me show you how it works. So if we take my about section on LinkedIn as an example, I can either copy and paste that or type that straight into TextEd Formatter. I'm going to paste it in. So there we go. So what we've got here is a full editor. Now Let's, let's start with formatting text. I want to format these headings. So all I've got to do, highlight what I want that in bold. So I just click bold. I'm going to get all my headings in bold now. There we go. Let's work our way down. About me. Let's make that bold. How to reach me. I can do cool things. We can uh, bold italicize those make those stand out. Okay, so let's say I wanted to change these dashes to arrows, pointers. All I've got to do is highlight what I want to change, go to search, I'll search for arrow. That's going to search through the entire character set that we're holding, Unicode. You see I've got lots and lots of them. I want to use those, so I'm going to click on those. And there we go, it goes straight in there. All I've got to do is go through, change all of those. Highlight what I want to change. Holds the last character in the top there, so I can just repeat it, so I don't have to search for it over and over. Click through, as you can see, it's really easy. I can do everything in the same editor. Bold things, format, italicize. Let's see if there's anything else we can change. Let's change text as format. Let's put that in bold as well. 2.5 million, let's, stand, let's make that stand out. Change that to bold as well. Cool, so that's really good. So I think that's done. All I've got to do, actually, let's change that to bold as well. Follow. Cool, that's done. All I've got to do is press copy now, take that back to my LinkedIn section, drop that straight in, press save. And there we go, bingo. My about section, it's got bold in it, it's got special characters in it, it's got italicized text in it, it's done. I've been able to do all that in one editor. I haven't got to go to lots of different websites to find emojis and bold bits of text. I can do it all in one place. So back to text set format. So we've got so many different functions in here. So for instance, um, as well as just bolding text, I can change the, um, the font styles as well. So if I want to change businesses, I've got lots of different font styles here that I can pick, go to monospace, serif bold, um, and we've got loads of crazy stuff as well. I want to go really crazy? Here we go. We've got lots and lots. If we go through these. We literally got dozens upon dozens of dozens of different font styles. On top of that, we're preloaded in with um, virtually the full set of emojis, so well over, nearly pushing on nearly 4,000 emoji sets, and they're all built into the keyboard, so there's no going away to a different website and pulling them in. I can literally, if I want an emoji there, see the one I want, I can just drop it straight into the editor. It's all part of the same keyboard. It's probably the biggest Unicode keyboard in an editor that exists on the planet at the moment. We've got all the different emoji sets that you can expect 
you can also do search. So if I was looking for instruments, for instance, let's have a look. Let's start searching for instruments, instrument, and you can see it starts finding them straight away and drops them down on the bottom. There's no need to go to lots of different places to find them. But on top of the emojis, yes, your phone keyboard may have emojis in it. What it hasn't got is access to the other thousands upon thousands of Unicode symbols that you can get hold of. So we built lots of these in here. So let's just pull that up so you can see here. We've got lots of geometric shapes and through those. We've got lots of arrows, symbols, box sets. We're trying to make this support the largest amount of Unicode symbols we possibly can. So those are all the characters. Now, if one, I can do all sorts of other good stuff as well. So for instance, if I want to break off that section down the bottom, I can. we've got a whole load of predefined um, dividers that you can drop in. So if I want to put a divider in there, let's just put that there. I can put that in the bottom as well. We've got lots of different styles. We've got bullet point styles. And, and these are basically built up of the characters, the characters that you saw in some of the character sets that we've got. So you can build your own divider sets if you want. We've got an ability to save anything as well. So you can actually so you can create a kind of divider like I've got there. And you can actually save it as a snip. Um, to your browser so you can reuse it over and over again. So I tend to use it on a lot of my LinkedIn posts. I have the same sort of footer on the bottom. So let's just go down there so you can have a look. So I've got a LinkedIn footer there. So that's the sort of standard LinkedIn footer I usually drop on the bottom of my post. And it's all pre-saved in, in the text head format of keyboard. Okay, as well as that, we're adding all sorts of fun stuff in. We're adding some new um, ASCII art in as well. So sometimes I like to put little faces little smiley faces in things like that we've got hundreds of these that we're going to be adding on over the coming months so using text ed formatter i can format my my linkedin profile like this i can format my linkedin posts my comments and on lots of other social media platforms as well and it's all done in one simple editor so i haven't got to go all over the place trying to find different things it saves a lot of time and we've probably got the widest amount of support for the Unicode character set that you're going to find. The one thing to note when you're using it is that not everyone is supporting the full Unicode character set just yet. So, for instance, screen readers are not, are not supporting all of it yet. They're starting to support more of the characters, the emojis and things like that. And as well, platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, your content is kind of indexed. So those platforms need to read that content. Many of them are still reading the original kind of 128 character character set. So all of your keywords, make sure all of your keywords that you want to be found for are just in standard text and then use formatting format text to make things like really stand out. Now, one final thing to note, going back to the keyboard, platforms like LinkedIn and Twitter, there are limits to the amount of characters that you can use in your profile or on a tweet or in a post. And emo things like emojis do use more characters. So a standard character uses up, uses up basically one character, but an emoji, like my little smiley face there, he can use up to five characters. So it's very important you don't max out your limit on a post. So we've added this little character count on the bottom of the editor as well. So you'll always know whether you're kind of within your limits and what the impact is of each emoji. Some emojis are quite complex to format, so they can take up to five characters. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that and happy formatting.